Hi guys, the Rugby Guru here, answering one of the most anticipated questions in the rugby gaming world at the moment. Is Rugby 20 better than Rugby Challenge 3? If you want to know, you'll have to press the like button and subscribe to my channel. Let's get into this. So guys, a lot of you have been asking whether I think Rugby 20 is better than Rugby Challenge 3. I went out and made this little video for you guys. Just showcasing some of the gameplay of Good both uh, games and the way I see it running through these clips there's a lot of similarities between the two games. Obviously Rugby Challenge 3 coming out way back in 2016 and Rugby 20 being released early this year. So if I have a look at this uh, guys basically guys just saw the intros of both games these are just the kickoffs of each game um, just to show you guys some similarity between the two games um, obviously graphic wise rugby challenge 3 were a lot better than rugby 20 but that's because wicked witch and true blue are really a lot uh, bigger than uh, big ben and eko software was so that's understandingly although i must say the graphics isn't really a deal breaker for me at this stage if you compare the gameplay with each other um, as you guys can see in this clip the the scrums of rugby challenge was pretty easy at times i i didn't really find it too much challenging um, whereas with rugby 20 you will see i managed to steal this the scrum but in most cases that's not the case um, it's actually really difficult to work with the analog uh, stick you have to use the left analog stick in order to to control your your uh, scrum and stuff going to the lineouts the lineouts for me in rugby challenge 3 were plain and simple you had your front middle and back jumper and there was nothing really difficult to it um, as with rugby Ch uh, with rugby 20 you can actually fake or uh, delay a throw in, uh, feint it, and then um, work your way. So I would say the lineout's a big uh, improvement in Rugby 20. If you quickly have a look at the high tackles in the game and what I loved about Rugby Jones 3, the referee actually showed the yellow card. Where in Rugby 20, the tackles are massive, but you don't actually get to, to see the referee giving out the yellow card. But as you guys can see, can pretty good uh, high tackle, if you can put it that way. Up and unders for me in Rugby Challenge 3 were really cool. If you compare it to Rugby 20, where it's a little bit more difficult and it doesn't have such a big influence in the game, which is also cool. Drop goals for me in Rugby Challenge 3 just took forever, as it kind of like slowed down to give you an opportunity to do it. Where in Rugby 20, you have to be a lot quicker to actually get the drop goal same with the with the kick at goals in rugby challenge 3 it was really simple didn't uh, really have to consider the wind or anything where with rugby 20 you have to control your kick with the right analog stick which makes it a lot harder and obviously the wind you have to take in consideration as well this is just a clip showing off the malls which it's could work good in now. Rugby Challenge 3 if you got it correct, but most of the time this happened. Whereas with Rugby 20, it just looks a lot more structured, although it's a lot easier to score a try. As you can see, the little box kick, not so much controllable in Rugby Challenge 3, where with Rugby 20, you can get a decent uh, box They've kick away. Next up is a clip just ball. showing the try one Please try of rugby Push challenge 3 and rugby On 20 to just to go show you guys the replay of of each game i would have said rugby you challenge 3 replays looked pretty good at the time no um you could clearly play. they showed you real good uh, good clips of that as with rugby 20 it's basically the same as you guys will see in this clip right now it does show you a proper uh, replay of the try being scored which was really cool. Next up is just some um, gameplay footage from 
from uh, myself controlling the game. Um, this is obviously Rugby Challenge 3 where you just you didn't have set plays and stuff. You could sidestep, you could fend and you could do a dummy pass which was really cool but you could never really get a structure going. There was plenty of offloads in the game and then something stupid like that would happen. Um, like I say, there was, it was a really fun game to play at its time. But now you get to Rugby 20, which is a little bit modern and I kind of like really enjoyed a lot. Um, as you guys can see, they introduced set plays to the game, which I know not a lot of people use, but I'm a really big fan of it. And I must say, I really enjoy it. Um, it gives you that um, unpredictability, especially in the online games. If your opponent uses it, I use it quite a lot. If you, uh, if you don't get it right, guys, it could get a real pain in the ass. But if you do, it looks really good. Next up is showing you guys some um, footage of the AI's gameplay in Rugby Challenge 3. And it might look a little bit impressive. Um, the way they offloading the ball, but most of the time it's just um, the one player running up from the ruck and that's how it goes for most of the game. Um, if your defense is good, they will never cross your line, which is more or less most uh, what happens. One thing that I can say, sometimes the decision making is pretty good, like for instance here Bowden and Barrett went for a drop goal after they couldn't break the line. Having a look at Rugby 20's AI gameplay and again guys I tried to find the best um, clips of it. It's not necessarily the case each time but I thought this was pretty good from the AI. But most of the time they just spread the ball wide all the time um, as I will show in the next clip. I say with Rugby Challenge 3 there was no set place involved so neither you or the AI could do set plays. It was just basically running off the lines, trying to find a gap, offloading in a tackle, trying to get little chip kicks over, fending, dummy pass and um, sidestepping most of the time. As you guys can see, the AI in Rugby 20 tries to spread the ball as wide as possible most of the time and basically find them vulnerable at the end of uh, the chain when the ball do goes to the wingers then normally more isolated than ever so in both games I would really say the AI was not really good at all um, it is a problem with rugby uh, games in general as I have basically played all rugby games on console before and I found that the AI was in most cases really poor or just not strong enough to my liking and it really kind of uh, sucks because it does take away the excitement of the game. If you have a look at the end screens of each uh, game um, you can see the guys celebrating in the back the, the team that loses looks really um, sad and all that kind of stuff but in the end it, it does show you some some form of uh, gratitude towards the end and what I liked about Rugby Challenge 3 they actually had statistics that showed how the game went um, something that was not in Rugby 20 at all but they could probably still do it with a patch obviously we know um, it's not the full complete game just yet there will be some more patches in the game and so on so guys this was just a quick uh, video to to tell you guys what I thought about it and obviously playing both games for plenty of hours and and really going through it in detail my prediction is as follow rugby challenge 3 gets 7 out of 10 and rugby 20 gets 8 out of 10 which will according to me the verdict is rugby 20 is better than rugby challenge 3 as it is but we will have to remember that rugby challenge 3 came out in 2016 where rugby 20 on the other hand came out this year and still need a lot of improvements 
to be done to the game. Until next time guys, cheers for now.